Hi there guys. This is the uh, mangrove tunnel that leads to Moses Hole here in uh, Bishop's Harbor, uh, Florida. And uh, what I want to do here today, obviously this is, is not the best place to fish, but um, I'm on my way out to uh, back to the flats now and what I want to test is whether or not these fancy sunglasses here, which retail for $260, work as good as these glasses I got today for five dollars. These are Berkeley's and I literally spent five dollars on these today. I was kind of um, coerced, let's say, and curious into buying uh, these fancy sunglasses. These are glass lenses versus polycarbonate. Right there, that's a, a good reason to get um, good sunglasses because they'll last a lot longer. They won't get scratches on them as easy. Um, that's obvious. That goes without saying. It's, there's no argument there. The question is, will I see fish better? than these. These are 100% polarized and um, I mean to do a side-by-side -side comparison today. The immediate result is that these aren't as amber. These are like the amber vision glasses where everything has a slightly more reddish tone. My initial reaction is that I see just the same. I'm looking at the oysters under the water and the little glistens and trying to see features underneath the water. But um, anyways, I'm going to put both of these glasses to the test out on the water. Let's find out together whether or not it's worth the money to uh, buy one pair of these or about uh, 50 pairs of these. Well, that was pretty fun. Wow. I'll say this, everything looks brighter with these uh, Costa Del Mars on. But again, I think it's the uh, Amber Vision, not uh, some sort of hocus pocus magic. Looking down into the water, I don't really see a difference. It's real hard to capture with the, the camera. I mean, I kind of wish that I could put the... I wish I could put the camera behind the glasses so that you could see a side-by-side -side comparison. Honestly, I just don't see the difference. Well, I don't know. I can't honestly tell a difference. Aside from the fact that one is bluish and one is amber, I can't see the bottom any better. I can't notice much of a difference, really. I mean, even the frames look similar. I'm looking at these uh, sandy potholes that are on the ground, and I can see little bait fish going past. Man. I suppose there might be a difference. If there is, it's real subtle. Hmm. The 
the pothole with the amber vision looks like a, a light brown whereas it looks a light green with the blue lens you get about the same amount of contrast but you get a better picture with the amber vision I've always liked these types of lenses anyways you know you've got them on when the distant clouds look purple and you're like wow look at how pretty that is and you take your glasses off and you're like oh wait it's, <laughs> it's a trick it's an illusion it's amber vision and again I've gotten that with simple lenses too with the blue lenses, these Berkeleys, the $5 ones, the clouds look crisp. Not hazy. It's the difference between polarized and not, which these Berkeleys are. <sighs> so, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that swear by Costa del Rey. They say that they're the best glasses and you're, you're not going to believe it. It's wonderful. And the way they rave about it is... I don't know. <laughs> it's unfounded, in my humble opinion. Again, I'm sorry to anybody out there that I might be offending, but for a retail price of $260, I can't justify a subtle difference. And that's with me taking one off and putting the other one on and vice versa. Immediately looking for that difference. And I'm not seeing it. Again, maybe, you know, the cheap sunglasses will scratch after time. But uh, for how much time? I mean, I've always had them. And usually you get a scratch and it's immediately like, oh, I screwed these glasses up. You know, it's, it's not something that gradually gets worse. before, And then you, re you don't realize that you're looking at a crappy glasses, in my opinion. So, you know, if they lasted a month or so before you got that, you drop them and you get that bad scratch you know, then you buy a new pair. For five bucks, you could buy 50 new pair for the price of these. You could swap them out once a month and you'd have new glasses every month for, for a year, uh, for four years. Now, I got them on eBay and they were a little bit cheaper. They were $160. 160 bucks. I could have bought what, like 30 pair, 33 pair or something, you know, of these. <clears throat> I know that folks say that Custas are lifetime guarantee and if you drop them and they get scratched or the hinge breaks on the side, they'll give you a new pair. That's cool. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe just because I'm a cheapskate, I can't see spending that much money on these glasses. I, I'm kind of glad that I got them now. I'm going to wear them, you know, until something happens to them. I'd love to know how long it takes before something happens to them. I know you're going to be like, well, you should put one of those lanyards on so you don't lose them. I don't know. I like to live on the edge. <laughs> I do it with my cameras every day. And they're worth a lot more than my, my uh, sunglasses. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with these glasses. As of right now, this is the second or third time I've been on the water with them. I have to give Fancy sunglasses, thumbs down. If anybody were to ask my opinion, should I buy fancy sunglasses? No, I'd have to say no. My suggestion would be to spend it on something different, like a rod and a reel or uh, some sort of fishing equipment, maybe a good pair of pliers. You know, something that is tangible, something that you'll notice for sure every single time you use it. Not, eh, maybe they're better. I don't know. <laughs> no. No. $160 
is not worth, maybe they're better. Not for me. Next pair of sunglasses I buy are going to be five bucks.